Hey guys, Coach Kat here. I'm gonna start by today by saying this is episode two of the stretch series. We're gonna focus on the lower back now. Often, sometimes we say that our lower back has the most pain out of our entire back thoracic cervical and lumbar. Uh, lumbar pain is the most common. Most people, it could either be due to tight hamstrings, maybe tight glute muscles. So here, I'm gonna help you guys, uh, give you guys three or the four different exercises that I like to do if I'm ever feeling some kind of lumbar pain. So the first one, we're just gonna open up the hips in the lower back a little bit more. So I'm gonna stay down on the ground, grab my mat. So right here, I'm gonna come down to the ground. My feet are going to be bent. My, my back is nice and flat. I'm gonna grab my hands around my side. From here, we've done this at Varsity House before. You take your one leg, cross it over your knee so your ankle's on top of your knee from here. But keeping that foot on the ground, the only thing that's making contact with the ground is the side of the foot, so you'll see. I'm here on the ground, everything is nice and flat. As I'm coming, bringing my one foot down to the ground, I'm exhaling, my lower back just cracked. Come back, keep the core tight. You're moving from the core, not from the back. So here, rotating from the core, inhaling. Nice big inhale. Exhaling, you're coming down on the other side. So you guys can see the other side from here, ankle on top of the knee. Coming down, foot touches the ground. See how my, my entire foot is still remaining in contact? My entire foot is not leaving the ground. So touch, if you can't touch the ground, that's great. If not, take it to a modified position. Come back to center. Give me five to eight reps per side. Three rounds of that just to get you guys started, right? The next thing we're going to do is going to start activating the, every single diff, we're going to activate different angles of the lower back, right? So getting into your butterfly stretch, but we're going to do single leg. Here, bring your foot inside, uh, make contact with the inside of your leg. From here, you're going to reach forward, hold for eight breaths, so in your nose, out your mouth. So on, so forth. From here, you're going to get different angles now, so you're going to reach forward. Eight breaths there, closer to your foot or to your leg. Now to the opposite side, reach forward. You're gonna start hitting different angles of your hamstring, glutes, and lower back. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into our position where we were laying on the ground from here. One foot's gonna be straight while the other one's bent. Bring that knee, tuck it into your chest, hold it for eight breaths or 20 seconds. Once you're done there, Hit it from different angles as well. So if I'm here, hit it to the side. So I'm bringing my knee closer to the outside of my shoulder. I'm holding it there for eight seconds. Back down, holding it, bringing my knee to the inside, like in between my chest right here. Hold it for eight seconds. Really take your time with these guys. Your lower back is very important. It's very important to be careful and to be as slow as possible while doing these exercises. And the last thing is going to be a little bit of a stability exercise for our lower back. So here we're gonna go on the ground, hands by our, our in front of us. Now my face is looking straight down into the floor. From here I'm gonna raise opposite arm, opposite leg. Squeeze, one, two, back down. Squeeze, one, two, five per side. If you think five is too easy, go eight to 10 per side. And guys, the last thing I wanna leave you guys with is even if you take a foam, roll, foam roller is the best way to alleviate some of the pressure in our back. So if you take a foam roller here, lower back goes into the foam roller. Start here, very small movements, right? Very slow, small movements. Exhale as you're inhaling and exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Very small movements. Once you feel satisfied with the pain that's, that's not there anymore, start slowly going working your way up do it as long as you feel no pain no severe pain to get the hamstrings like i said it could be either to tight hamstrings we've been sitting a lot um we strained something hamstring here i like to keep my one foot bent roll start at the bottom of the hamstring and you work, work your way up to the glute. And that's all I have for you guys today.